I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on binomial distribution. The question here is, the failure rate is 5% for the light bulbs. What is the probability that more than two of them will be defective in a randomly picked sample of 25? What is the expected number of defective bulbs? So these are the two parts for the question. Now we are given the failure rate. Right? So we say failure rate is 5%. The question is, what is the probability that more than two of them will be defective in randomly picked sample of 25? So total number of pieces which we are checking is 25, right? So N, the number of items is 25 for us. And probability of success here is defective, right? Is 5%, right? It is 0 0.05. So success could be treated as defective also, right? So basically what we have done is we define a random variable here, which is number of defective bulbs. Right, so if you take a sample of 25, you could have zero defective, you could have one defective, two defective, three defective. So the possible values could be zero, one, two, three, and uh, up to 25, right? So all could be defective, got it? So these are possible values of x. Now look into the question. It says, what is the probability that more than two of them will be defective more than two right so so three four five six so many right so in such questions what we can see is we can find the probability for no defective one defective or two defective and take away from one do you see that so so we are trying to say that probability for x to be greater than two is equal to 1 minus probability for x less than equal to 2. Is it okay? Does it make sense? Less than equal to 2. Correct? So that is the approach in our case. Okay. Now, if you pick a bulb, there are only two possibilities. It could be defective or not defective. Is that okay? And since this is a random pick, we are talking about Bernoulli's trials. And therefore, we can apply binomial distribution rules. Right? So we'll apply the binomial distribution rules to find our answers for both the questions. Right? <clears throat> so the first one here, we are trying to figure out 1 minus probability 0 is defective. So we are saying 1 minus probability for none is defective, right? So x equals to 0. Or 1 is defective or 2 are defective. Do you get an idea? That is what it is. Now what is this probability equals to? Well, this probability is equals to 1 minus. So if 0 is defective, that means all are good, right? So we have n, c, 0. n is 25. Let me write 25 here. So out of 25, all are good. So the defective probability was 0 0.05, 0 0.05, I mean, that is to the power of 0. And how about the good ones? 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. Is it okay? So that is the value of Q. So we get this times 0 0.95 to the power of 25. Correct? So that is zero defective. Now one defective will mean, take away, 25C1, 0 0.05 to the power of 1, and 0 0.95 to the power of 24. And two defective will be 25C2, 0 0.05 to the power of 2, 0 0.95 to the power of 23. Do you get it? So that is the answer for you.
okay so we've done a lot of these calculations i'll not get into that now in this video however you can actually calculate and find the answer but i hope you understand and appreciate the method i'm Adil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best